Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, October 28, in 1937, the Adams County Unit of the Natchez Trace Association held a celebration at Brandon Hall to mark the inauguration of construction on the Natchez Trace Parkway. Initial efforts to revive the Natchez Trace began in 1903 when the Mississippi Society of the Daughters of the American Revolution led an effort to place historic markers along the old route. The United States Daughters of 1812 also marked the trace, and by 1918, the idea of returning the old Natchez Trace to its former prominence led to the formation of the Natchez Trace Highway Association. This organization adopted the motto, Pave the Trace. By 1934, there were renewed calls for the recreation of the historic highway, and the Natchez Trace Association was formed in Jackson, Mississippi. Association President Lucille Mayfield moved to Washington, D.C., where she was able to actively promote the project one-on-one -on -one with legislators. Later, Roan Fleming Burns of Natchez agreed to lead the organization, and Mississippi Congressman Jeff Busby introduced legislation for the initial survey. Mississippi Senator Pat Harrison won the support of Franklin Roosevelt, who included the project as one of the New Deal parkways. Paul Coburn of Alabama and P.M. Estes of Tennessee spearheaded efforts in their respective states. The first section of paved road opened in Ridgeland, Mississippi in 1951. The southern terminus in Natchez opened in 2005. In September 1993, the Natchez Trace Parkway was designated as an All-American Road, which is the highest honor of the National Scenic Byways Program. Today, the Natchez Trace Parkway Association supports interpretation services of historic sites along the trace and works to protect scenic views. Hi, I'm Mary Risser, Superintendent of the Natchez Trace Parkway, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.